I'm gonna get some grub in, then we're gonna start the video. Gotta feed the mind, man. So make sure you're eating before you start creating. It's your boy King Buzz back with those exclusives. Welcome to the channel where we make no excuses. Shout out all artists, engineers, and producers, and I'm back with another video. Y'all niggas know what's going on, man. All right, so today, I'm gonna uh, show y'all how I mix my vocals and how I get the clean, crispy vocals. But first, we're gonna make a beat so I have something to record vocals over. Alright? So, here. What's up, man?
don't go too crazy. Just need a little beat, get some vocals down. Uh, yeah, I right, so. I ain't know the name of this beat. Boy, I'm tired of spending money. I said part of life, though, nigga. All right, let me get it set up. And then I'll turn this back on. We start talking about the vocals. All right, so. The first step to goddamn clear vocals is always going to be your input. So it's going to be your mic. And the number one rookie mistake that I made, too, when I started making music is I turned my goddamn gain knob all the way up. You don't do that. Turn your gain knob up just enough to capture your vocals. Because if you turn it up real loud, it's going to catch your vocals and everything in the background. So you don't want it to pick up your vocals and everything in the background. So make sure your gain is right. Make sure your mic is recording correctly. Make sure you got good distance from your mic. Don't be like all up on your mic because then it's going to muffle your sound. You want crispy vocals, give it good distance. Not real far because if you're too far away from the mic... You want me to demonstrate? The sound between you and the mic is also going to travel with your voice. So, like, all right, so I mic right here. You don't want to be, like, all right, so, boom. That's, like, good distance right there, right? If you too far, it's going to pick up your voice with everything else in the room. You want to be, that distance right there is perfect. Like, your voice is going to travel, and it's just going to, it's voice mic. You don't want... Voice room mic, you know what I mean? It's too much. I'm just showing the wrong ways now. You too close? Yeah, too close. You gonna muffle. You know, you can't really enunciate your words because the thing is in there. And if you're too far, like you said, everything's gonna get picked. Exactly. So boom. That's you that's the fist here. That's most the people. That's the basics right there. Yo, input input is number one. Now, after you record your vocals, then it's <laughs> this is gonna be step two, which is is your plugins, your your effects, uh, your reverb, you know, all that stuff. And for me in Mixcraft, which I know most of y'all y'all using it too. Uh, let me record my screen. All right, so boom. Now, if you got Mixcraft Pro Studio, I think starting at seven. So Mixcraft Seven Pro Studio. It came with a plugin called Isotope. Isotope is gonna be the real, real big difference maker in your vocals. Now, matter of fact, let me open up a song that I already did. Uh, I don't wanna get y'all no sauce. I'm trying to. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't trying to get y'all no sauce. I'm trying to pick something. Uh, I think y'all heard this one already. I'm picking this one. All right. So, I'm a solo. I'm a solo the vocals. Probably on the verse. We tend to lose sight of what's life. So sick of being left that we won't do what's right. Internet full of cap. Don't get caught up in the hype. There at night, starstruck. Don't get caught up in the lights. Niggas see me getting dough, asking how much can he hold? A dollar in a dream, I suppose. Niggas losing money, chasing hoes, buying bags and buying clothes. The right one always keep you on your toes. Alright, so boom, y'all hear how that sound, right? Now, I'm gonna open up the effects tab. Boom. Now this isotope, this one right here. Now I'm a I'ma turn isotope off and I'ma play the vocal, right? This is how big of a difference that thing make, right? So this is it with it. We tend to lose sight of what's life. So sick of being left that we won't do what's right. Internet full of cap. Don't get caught up in the hype. There at night, starstruck. Don't get caught up in the lights. Alright, that's it. With it, now without it, this is how it sounds. We tend to lose sight of what's life. Now, it's still crispy, but it's not as bright. So, isotope is like the brightness. How I That's what I use to like push my vocals forward in the mix. We tend to lose sight of what's life. <laughs> but also, you got to understand that I don't have a basic setup. Now, most of y'all, you will have your mic running into your interface that run into your computer. Me, I have a preamp, so my mic runs into my preamp. My preamp has a compressor, a, a compressor, a deesser, an enhancer, expander gate, etc. Which means my mic runs into my preamp. I compress my vocals already. I got a deesser on it to get all the hisses and the s's and all that out of there. 
I got an enhancer which I can like control my bass level and my treble level of my voice. All right. Then I have an expander gate which I use to cut out all background noise. Like my mic only picks up my voice. It doesn't pick up anything in the background, which is like perfect for most people like us because we're recording in like a home setting. And like if you know, you should know that like acoustics in a house is not built or like made for recording music. Like the acoustics in here are terrible. Like they're horrible. So that's why you throw up a little, you know. Your little phone, boom, 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 boom. But if you really, really, really know what you're doing, have to like really, you don't even really be needing it though. You know what I mean? It do make a little bit of difference though. Like I can tell the difference though. But you gotta really be in tune with your sound to really know what's changing when you do these little things. But the preamp is the way to go, yo. Like without a doubt. I think I paid like two and change for mine. Been killing the game ever since, yo. That's like a super quality booster. <clears throat> but all right, so yeah, so Isotope. If you got Pro Studio, definitely use that and learn how to use that. Now, as you can see, I got a, a classic compressor, acoustic compressor. I got two compressors on there that I use for different reasons. Uh, and then you gotta remember that it's already being compressed before it gets in here. Then I got I got my uh, my reverb, which I use lightly. Like too much reverb is gonna make it sound really like roomy it's gonna sound like you like uh recording in like uh somewhere that's really like i say like a auditorium or something like a like a church you know how like it's just like really like noisy and the, the sound kind of like bounces um or no let's a gym perfect perfect example is a gym like a gym like the acoustics are terrible in the gym um I got I got my reverb, I got my uh, EQ, I got my delay, which I use lightly. EQ is a uh, it's subjective though, like you use it how you want to, you know what I mean. Uh, same with delay. Uh, I got another reverb, my acoustic reverb, classic chorus. I use it to like uh, widen out my vocals, right? So I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna play it with the classic chorus. So here it is right here. We tend to lose sight of what's life. So sick of being left that we won't do what's right. Internet full of cap. Don't get caught up in the hype. There at night, starstruck. Don't get caught up in the lights. All right, now without the classic chorus. We tend to lose sight of what's life. I know you can barely hear the difference, right? When you put some headphones on, you're gonna hear the difference. It, it's, it's, it widens the vocal out. It's, it's spreading it. So, like, right now, the vocal is dead slap in the middle. Now, once that classic chorus hit it, it's going to spread out into the right ear and the left ear a little bit. You know what I mean? That's, it mean, that much. It's going to make your, your sound that much better. You know what I mean? You got to fill out the track. So, that... What's another, let me see, out of these, what's another one that's really important? Well, the compressor, obviously. Like, you turn, all right, so this is with the, the classic compressor. We tend to lose sight of what's life. So sick of being left that we won't do what's right. Nah, without it. We tend to lose sight of what's life. They're like, it's way too loud, you see? Like, the compress, You when you compress, the compressor is really used to control the levels of the audio that's it i don't know if anyone ever told y'all or they be trying to make it like super musical terms i'm gonna just keep it real with y'all i ain't go to school for music and, nothing, and i'm self-taught it's used to control the levels of the audio that's what a compressor is it's so you're not peaking and you're not hitting a, a, a crazy bottom that's all that's what it's for so my compressor keeps me in that nice pocket we tend to lose sight of what's life boom now, I could go in like into detail of like um of what I set everything to, like my ratios and my thresholds and all that. But it could help you and it would help you a little bit, right? To see what I set everything to, but everything is different based on your voice. Like I mix to my voice or whoever I'm mixing to, right? Who their voice so this is mixed to my voice. So if I give you these exact settings, 
it's not going to sound exactly like mine because your voice is different than mine. So you got to understand that too. But you can go to here. You can pause. You can see uh, what I use. You can set it up like that and then go through and play with it. The, the best way to learn is to just mess with stuff. Like, period. Like, the best way, you just get in there, mess with stuff. You're going to notice. You're like, okay, when I do this, this happened. Okay. Boom, boom. You know what I mean? And I've been doing that since I was like 15. And I'm about to turn 23. That just lets y'all know how long I've been doing it. And I can, I can, matter of fact, I'm going to put like an old song at the end of this video, right? So you can hear like how it used to sound. Like quality wasn't always this good. Trust me. You know what I mean? So I'm definitely, I'm going to put an old song at the end of the video. I got to find something that's, uh, that ain't going to give me no copyright strike or nothing. But I'm going to figure it out. <laughs> we tend to lose sight of what's life. So sick of being left at. Can you throw the beat in there? Yeah. We tend to lose sight of what's life So sick of being left that we won't do what's right Internet full of cap, don't get caught up in the hype There at night, starstruck, don't get caught up in the lights Niggas see me getting dough, asking how much can he hold A dollar in a dream, I suppose Niggas losing money, chasing hoes Buying bags and buying clothes The right one always keep you on your toes Look Yeah, man, that's, that's my, my quick tips, man Quick tips right there, man yeah, I want to know more. Y'all want me to go into a little more detail? Just let me know. And make sure you got a pop filter, man. I use two pop filters because I don't know, bro. Like, well, not that one. It was working. You feel me? But I just, I like pop filters. You know, it's to stop the your uh what they call them uh your explosive sounds. You know, the P's, the B's. You know, you know, all that. So I use two. To really catch it, you feel me? Like, I don't want none of those those P's and them B's in my sound. Because it really mess up your mix, you know what I mean? And people hear it, too, you know what I mean? Like, you listen to a song, and niggas say, like, bang! And that shit, nigga, sound like this nigga... All the bass from his voice is in the mix, you know what I mean? You don't want that. It sound like that so, nigga said, sang. You know what I mean? So... That nigga said, bang. Yeah, so, you know. And then this nigga screaming, gang. <laughs> so, yeah, we're, we're recording audio. We're recording voice the input is the most important step. The mixing is gonna get better the more you learn, and that's just it right there, man. So make sure you're recording your voice correctly, and and build from there. Like like I said, when I first started, I used to have my gain all the way up, thinking that was the way, not knowing that I'm making my my uh my audio way too noisy because I'm getting my voice. I'm getting the microwave beep in the back. I'm getting the smoke detector beep, all that. You know what I mean? So you don't want to turn it too high. Have it just right to catch your voice. Go from there. But it's going to be the end of the video. I got to chop it up. But how I end my video? I always forget how I end my video. Oh, no, I know. We're going to keep growing. We're going to keep going strong. Y'all know what's going on. It's your boy King Buzz, and I'm out of here. Yeah. My bitch better have my money Bitch, I'm about my money All about my dollars, I ain't playing If you try me, then that chopper get the spray Bitch, I'm about my money We grinding, grinding, grinding We ain't playing If you talking money, I know what you saying Bitch, I'm about my money Yeah, nigga, about that cash Addicted, so I need rehab Conflicted, uh. when I see that ass I'm tripping, got me in the trance right But it's damn. okay, cause I'm the great The money gon' come, long as you shake Big yep. bang roll, pockets on bank Believe bang. it, if life's like chicks, then keep me uh. Need a big booty girl to complete me yeah. So these hoes gon' fight and compete in uh. And these niggas will kill just to be me right. Unbelievable, yeah, I know Don't believe me, come to the show yeah. Pretty red bone, rose petals, and you already know I'm the Bitch, great. I'm about my money, all about my dollars.